Starting today, you'll pay a little more for packages that come straight to your door in Minnesota. That's because a new delivery fee approved by state lawmakers last year kicks in. Caroline Cummings explains when the fee applies and what it funds. If you shop online, your next big buy might get hit with a new fee, an extra 50 cents on packages worth $100 or more. Our habits are changing. DFL Representative Aaron Cagle says the purpose of the fee is simple, to generate a new consistent revenue source to support roads in need of repair. And she believes the legislation meets the moment as e-commerce dominates. We're going to need to find uh, new Revenue sources with with the advancement of the EVs, our gas tax revenue is going to decrease, um, and but our road usage probably won't. We we'll just have different vehicles on the road, and so we need to start thinking about how we're going to fund our transportation system in the future. The law exempts certain products like drugs, medical devices, food, and certain baby products. Clothing, while excluded from sales tax, is subject to the retail delivery fee. The fee is only once per transaction, but any package less than $100 won't see the surcharge at all. I think we're doing our best to make sure retailers know that today is the day the delivery fee kicks in. Bruce Newstead, the president of the Minnesota Retailers Association, says the fee is complex since it doesn't apply to all sales, and that can be confusing. Businesses are on the hook to make sure they're applying it right, and some may just absorb the cost. We are always worried about a consumer being incented to buy outside the state. So you look at the delivery fee, you look at increased sales taxes, we're just concerned that consumers might say, hey, you know what, I think I'll just drive to Wisconsin or South Dakota or a neighboring state to make a purchase.